Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of John and His Amazing Friends. Today, I'm here with my buddy, Nate Spare. Nate Spare is a lot of things, but today, he's a juggler. Today. Just today. Only today. So how long have you been juggling? Uh, eight years. Yeah. Eight years? Mm -hmm. well, what got you into juggling in the first place? Uh, actually, uh, a couple friends of mine, we kind of had this bet going, um, just through the cross balls in our break room at the time, and whoever learned how to juggle, I guess, won this gentleman's bet. Um, and you know me. So, I don't know. I got like me pretty, to win. Yeah, I got me pretty hooked on just trying to figure it out. Um, I think I had that need to, to do it first, so. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take you on a progression to teach you how to juggle. First thing you're going to need are juggling balls. Whoa! That works every time. Every time you need juggling balls, it is, they drop from the sky, just like that. And lots of space. Then you're going to need a bowl of cereal. So, uh, mini wheats. They're, um, they're frosted. So, yes, we have our balls. Uh, no, no, no. Juggling balls, are, it's a pyramid scheme, so you gotta go with... Now these are, li li they're like, they're little pyramids. G-balls, little uh, name drop right there. This is where I now get off my juggling balls, and um, I would have used regular round ones, but uh, they are uh, put away because I'm doing a show right now. All right. Another little show. You're doing a there. show at uh, Disney Springs. Yeah, doing a, it's a juggling like show and we have um, Marvel and Star Wars references and stuff if you're it's in a Marvel Star Wars themed juggling show. Yep, if you wanted all that in one show, this is the show for you. So and that's this summer? Yeah, this summer at, at uh, Disney Springs will be kind of What's the name of the show? Uh, it's called O Town Throwdown. O Town Throwdown. Throwdown. O T D for short. Yeah. O T D. O T D See? Yeah. I already signed with the references. It's good. Right. So you ready? Yeah. You got it all ready to go? Ready to go. And you know how to juggle? No. Not yet. So we gotta start with one. So let's drop these two for now. <clears throat> so this is what I do. Uh, I kind of say like pick like a, um, kind of like draw yourself a little imaginary line. Uh, I mean for me right now I go okay look at that top of that tree right there. Yeah. But it could be different for you. Like just whatever you're looking at. You're like well, I want to throw this top. So like you just get comfortable throwing one back and forth just kind of crossing that line. Right. And just start to get used to not necessarily looking at catching the ball. Because it just looks like you're saying yes to a bunch of things, and if someone asks you a question that you don't want to say yes to, then obviously don't shake your head. Yeah. Well, look, okay, so you just dropped, right? Yeah. What's the worst that that happened? Gravity, and then you just pick it back up. Yeah. So, I'm telling you that now because it's gonna come up again later. Okay. All right, let's go to two. Same concept, right? So let's just say that first part we learned is part A. This would be part B. Part B. Okay. Part B is now doing. The two juggling balls, okay? So it'll be a right left, then a left right. Um, I try to do that because I learned just doing right left, right left, right left, uh -huh. and so I got pretty heavy sided on the right side and it became a problem. So, what we're gonna do right now is just go right left and then catch. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Now we're gonna go left, right. Awesome. So, let's go right, left left, right, right, left, left, right. Okay, I know <clears throat> those kind of watching this at home that are, you know, actually trying to, you know, juggle, haven't gotten the mini weeks yet. Uh, <clears throat> this part's actually kind of harder. Uh, the one back and forth, that's pretty easy. Um, this, just think about the throws, and not necessarily the catches, put the ball where you want to catch it, just like that, left, right, catch. Cool. How do you feel about that? Good. So you remember part A? That last part we yep. just learned? Yeah. Part B. So you go, uh, the reason why I say that is because I think it's the easiest way to fit both parts together is just think part A, the one ball, and then do part B. And as soon as you throw part A, as soon as that ball leaves your hand and goes in the air, forget about it and just do part B. Part so B. It'd be, so it'd be like this, part A, part B. Make sense? Yep. Part A, part B. Close. Um, you can, as soon as uh, that, that uh, imaginary line up top, as soon as that ball, any preceding ball, 
passes that line, the other one goes. One, two, three. Right, okay, so your throws are getting a little... Crazy. Yeah. Does um, that happen a lot? It does. People? Yeah, because like, a lot of people just want to get, you know, all the balls in the air as much as possible. Like what I said, that the, the worst thing that happens is that the ball just comes right back down. Um, but you can look at your your drops and see like, okay, this one threw too far that way, too far this way. Um, and you just kind of want to stay grounded. And I'm not necessarily looking at where I'm catching all the time. I'm kind of looking at where I want to throw it. And I make this little kind of um, um, a, a common like juggling technique is that you have this box and the, the bottom two hands are the corners of the box and you have to throw to the other corners. So you throw that corner each time and it kind of makes like an X pattern. <clears throat> but this is the, the basic of juggling. Uh, or the base of juggling, it, it's a cascade pattern, three ball cascade. Um, any uh, number of balls that you juggle or props, um, this will be like, uh, so you have three balls, so you go one, two, three, that is a three ball flash. Right, okay, so if you do that, you just flash the trick, which means that you have the skill to do it. Um, to actually qualify it, you have to do that two times in a row. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's okay. So your second throw, yeah, perfect. So uh, the second throw, you kind of uh, waiting for it to come down, and then throwing. See that? Yeah. Just throw it sooner. So you have more throw time. Throw it sooner. All right. Yeah. Here we you go. More time to manipulate the uh, pattern. Yep. Perfect. And you can kind of relax more. Yeah, I'm really stiff. Yeah, because you're like, oh, no, no, no. Like just, there's a. Uh, just think like you're, you know, loosey goosey. Um, if you're going to do higher throws, or if you if you need to like maybe throw like this is how you gotta fix your pattern to get back on track. Just know that with three, you can always hold two, and you'll have one in the air. So is that that's kind of the basics for getting started? Yeah, this will get you started. Um, what's a good What's a good practice like? Regimen five minutes a day if you if you want if you want to get more serious about it an hour I think it's with anything the more you put into it the more you're gonna get out of it regardless mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, if you don't have uh, juggling balls or they're, yeah, yeah, they're kind of expensive um, So what about, like okay, what are these run? You're looking at like between eight and eleven dollars a ball a ball a ball Okay, yeah, and as you can see there's a lot of money literally right here. Yes, uh, so sometimes people don't want to spend that much money obviously for me it's my your career yeah, in some aspect, so I do spend a lot of money on juggling items. If you're the uh, person out there who's looking for like the, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the, the life hack of it, um, then socks, rolled up socks, every time you roll up your socks you do laundry, see if you can do three. Uh, they are lighter, it's going to be harder. I do like to feel, these are lighter than what I usually use, but I do like to feel a nice weight. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just easier to manipulate. The starter <coughs> juggling kit, kits that are like those um, uh, eight panel balls, those are, I learned on those a little bit, but they're really light and they're, they're, they're kind of hard to use. Those are like 20 bucks. Um, but if you're at like, you have no idea where to get any of this. If you don't want to go like Google juggling balls online, tennis balls, Walmart, like lacrosse balls. I learned on lacrosse balls. Um, okay, tennis balls, lacrosse balls. Um, G balls. This is G B A L L Z. Yep. G balls. Uh, uh, com. You can uh, also tr probably try Amazon. Yeah, Amazon will have them. They'll they'll probably have the starter up ones. Uh, the WJF. Uh, they've got a store. Um, I've I've had a set of those. Dubai. com. D U B E. So. Um, awesome. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Go have fun. Um, and hopefully, uh, we'll come back and show you some tricks. Uh, we'll come back next numbers. time for some tricks. Yeah. That sounds great. Bye, magical juggling balls. I'll see you again real soon. Is it rolling? No. <laughs> you always have one kind of. Yeah. Just like that. Dropped it. I'm not yeah. even juggling it. Throw it. Hold it, guys. Is this right? Or is it That's right. bigger or tighter? No, that's perfect. All right, thanks for watching another episode of John and his amazing friends. Let's thank Nate Spare, our guest. T 
teaching us how to juggle. Hey, come back, join us next time where we're gonna learn some tricks. If this is your first time watching this, uh, we would love to have you subscribe. Leave us a comment, let us know how your juggling adventure is coming along. We'll see you next time. Woo! Whoa!